Hello, and thank you for coming back to another episode of the Magnetic Entrepreneur Podcast. My name is Della. Here we introduce amazing individuals who have found their passions in life and are helping the world become a better place using those passions every single day. These are people who uplift others and leave a positive um, footprint as they walk through this journey we call life. One of these amazing individuals is Dr. Michelle Davis. It is my pleasure to interview Dr. Davis on this podcast as I would like to shed some light into what she does as her superpower in this life. So here, um, please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Dr. Michelle Davis all the way from Munich, Germany to the podcast. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Della. Thank you very much for the invitation. And also thank you to Robert. <laughs> thank well, you very so much. Nice. It's so nice to have you here, uh, Dr. Davis. First of all, I want to say this, that you're a medical doctor. You're also a mindset coach. You're an entrepreneur and um, you are a vitality strategist um, with a company called Vital Beauty Power. Yeah, and uh, I, I want to get to know all of these aspects of your life. So uh, we have an hour and I don't want to waste any time. So let's, let's just jump into this. Dr. Davis, please tell us where you started in life and how you got here in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, I started um, when I was 23 studying medicine. And I always wanted to become a doctor since I'm 15. And I re realized that's, that's really my, my dream job. And I wanted to become really that person and be the doctor. And then I um, couldn't get into med school because my grades from school weren't so good. And then I was like, okay, I have to wait. And I waited four years. And then I entered the med school. And then um, during my education and to become a doctor, I learned a lot and especially through the patients, I have to say, because I had some very interesting patients in my life who were, um, for example, one, he uh, had a brain tumor and he said, um, I want, I want to see my children growing up and I'm, I'm, I survived it already seven years. And normally in school medicine, you would say, um, this person is going to die maybe in half a year, year. That's the prognosis. And that was the first step when I started there's more about medicine, which we don't know yet. And so I started already a different journey during my med school, and which is the holistic approach of medicine, which I'm doing now more and more. And that was like, like a key moment with this patient. And then I had another patient. He had a Marfan syndrome. And he had a near-death um, experience. And he told me about this, and I was really curious about this, this near-death experience. And then I was researching on that and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. And the brain is so fascinating. And then I went on and on and on. And then I realized like neurology, the brain functions. And then I got more and more through those studies also during my medical time, medical studies time into that field. And then I was wondering, how is the brain working? That's why mindset coaching came in also. And so I started really to develop a bigger picture of, of what is health. And it's also the mind, it's the body, and it's the soul. And that's how the journey started also during that time. And then I, just at the end of my studies, it was really <laughs> interesting. I had to do this final exam three times. <laughs> I was almost at the point to drop out of med school. And it was the second time when I missed it because of 0.13%. Oh, wow. And I was like, it can't be, it can't be. I was really at the point to give up. And I would, I really have to say a friend of mine, he was really an angel on earth. He came to me and said, Michelle, I know you since you're 15. You always wanted to become a doctor. And now just right in front of the goal, you want to give up. That's not you. That's absolutely not you you are a fighter and you are the one who's going through this and I said yeah but I have to work so much besides I had four jobs you know to, to you know pay my bills and everything and then he said you know what how much money do you need 
just to study and have some fun. <laughs> and then I said, okay. I thought about, yeah, maybe about that amount. And then he said, okay, you know what? I give it to you. And you just focus on studying and on the weekends you dance because you love dancing and then you go for it. And then I was like, I can't do this. I can't take the money, you know? And then it was like, why not? The next morning I thought, why not? And he's totally right. And he believed in me. And then I said, okay, I go the last time and I give everything and I just focus on that. And then I got to know even the, the power of affirmations. And I said, every morning, I said, I am a doctor into the mirror. I can do this. I'm going to pass this exam. And I did. And I did very well as, as well. So that was the thing. And then um, that's why I said he was like the encouraging person in my life. And that's why I also learned on those, through those experiences in my life that you can do it. You can just have to go through it. And if you, you just push forward, you get up every morning again, get the discipline back in your life, and then you can do it. And it's always about your mindset. You know, what you think is what you feel, and this is what you will have in your life. It's like think, feel, and the results what you will get. And that's what I learned. And then I dive deeper after med school through my coaching education as well into the mindset and the mindset blocks and the limiting beliefs what we have. And then through all this, it started to create my, my holistic approach on you know, treating patients and helping patients to get back in their own power because they can get, have their own responsibility and their own power. And that's so important because many people say, okay, doctor, I have the symptom, please give me a pill. No, you can do it differently. And if you really have to go get really to the really tiny thing down there, the root cause, where that comes from. And I also believe a lot in psychosomatic because what we think, if you say, you know, I'm, I'm angry, you know, normally in German, there's a word for it. It's a different word. It's called sour. <laughs> so you're acid in your body, for example, if I would take the German word for it. And so this is causing, you know, um, yeah, problems in your, in your, in your whole being. And, but you can change that and you can change this also to nutrition and all those things. And that's very important um, that we focus on all three parts because if you just focus on the body, not enough. If you just focus on the mind, not enough either because if you just say, okay, I have a good mindset, but I eat junk food. Also not good because you poison your cells in the body and the soul, yeah. And the soul is the other part where you really have to look at because you, you listen to your intuition. Your body tells you what you need. And the body sometimes says, you know, and if you're not listening to the soul, the body is going to put a break in. And I experienced that myself as well. I was working as a surgeon and it was really, really hard. Sometimes I had 36 hour shifts sometimes and I was completely done. I was almost in a burnout. And then I got a paralysis in my leg which told me, wake up call. And then I said, okay, something has to change in my life. And then I really quit that job there. And I went to a private clinic. I had a great team. I had a great work environment. It was really good. I learned a lot. I got even extra educations and all that. And I really realized how important it is to have the balance in life between work private yeah your private life your your hobbies and all that and your me time is also very important okay oh my god i'm so i i'm so overwhelmed right now okay so let me one question at a time first of all uh your patients must be super happy to have you as their doctor because a doctor that looks at everything um you know uh, to to give them the 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 therapy they need that's just fabulous did you experience any resistance from the medical the traditional medical fields like did did your colleagues look at you and say what the heck are you doing like this is not how we do business absolutely <laughs> absolutely because they're well i i don't know i don't want to say it's, it's right or wrong you know because you know they were trained completely classically they believe in all the classic medicine i took a different path because out of my own health experiences and i got to know um, in that field that naturopaths uh, helped me more 
than the school of medicine in that field because the paralleluralists, for example, nobody could help me. They couldn't find any evidence why that happened. And, um, and I believe it was an intoxication because of mercury, because of a vaccination. And, um, and we know that it's neurotoxic and, and, or can be neurotoxic. I mean, not generally, you can say that, but I, I, I got the injection one week prior into to, uh, my bottom and then I had the lag in the paralysis afterwards. And that's why my journey became different because of my own health experiences and my own healing experiences, thanks to the naturopath. And that's why I thought, you know, um, we, we have to combine that. It's not just classic is not good and just uh, natural path is good. No, the combination is good. That's the future. Integrative medicine is the future. And some doctors are already on that path and they understood why it's important. And um, some sure um, said, what are you doing? You know, you have to take this and that and whatever. And I said, no, I experience, that's my experience. I often tell them my experiences. And then I also tell them, um, for example, an emergency uh, medicine, absolutely fine, sure. If somebody has a heart attack, I would do it completely classic. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't give a homeopathic, you know, tablet. But um, if, if it's, for example, something chronic, I would work complete dif- completely differently because normally the chronic diseases start in the microcirculization of your body. That's those the little tiny vessels in your body. They have the inflammations in there because of the toxins we take in daily. We have, for example, pesticides, microplastic and heavy metals. And that causes a lot of, you know, cell blocks and their cells are not working properly anymore. And that's one part. And the second part is the intestine. Hippocrates already said, you know, if you have a healthy intestine, you have a healthy body. And Mm -hmm. he's completely right. Mm -hmm. Because if you have um, the intestine in order, it's about the microbiome. Maybe you heard of that as well. Yes, I have. Yes. I was trying to find the word in my head, microbiome. Yeah. A healthy microbiome is very important. Yes. Yes, exactly. And that's, that's um, if you get your gut back into balance and your good bacteria back, in, back to work <laughs> and the bad bacteria is out of the intestine, then your hormones, your enzymes and all that is working again properly. And it all, has all effect on, on many, you know, also what they call autoimmune um, deficiencies. Um, because the hormone system and enzymes are not working properly. And if this is in order, we also could see that, for example, Hashimoto, um, the thyroid um, disease, went back to normal. Or you had like a lactose intolerance, went back to normal. And those are the things. And we combine different um, things together, or I combine them for the patients. And I'm working close uh, together with a naturopath because we are testing things and we are working together on that field. And then we support the patient individually, what they need, what's really not working in their body, what's maybe intoxicated, what maybe if they have a high level of aluminum, okay, then we have to get that out. If they have a high level of lead, we have to get that out. And then we, you can, you pay, we take it step by step and really look close to the root cause. And that's so important because you can't generalize, you know, like, okay, this person has a cough or has a, I don't know, lactose intolerance, you know, take a pill. No, you have to really get, where does it come from? What's going on in the body? And that's, we have special tests on that. And then we look into deep and, and help the people individually. Yeah. Um, so obviously um, this sort of, um, therapy is not for everybody, right? Not everybody is going to accept this. Mm -hmm. Uh, A lot of people are just looking for the fast solution and they think medication is the fast solution. Um, So how do you deal with patients like that? Well, I I, um, talk to them into deep and I really ask them, do you really want to get healthy? Or do you want to just do symptom treating? So sometimes really address it right away like this. Mm-hmm. And, and the majority would answer, yes, I want to get healthy. I want to get back to my vitality. I want to feel fit again. I want to have the power again. I want to sleep properly. I want to have my intestine in order, you know, my, my digestion in order. And then I said, okay, it will take some time. It's not overnight. And if you commit to this for yourself, it's, it's not for me. You don't, you're not doing that for me. You're doing that for yourself. So if you commit to yourself, then we have a chance to do that. 
If not, we don't. So you can choose. Right. And often I'm very clear on that because I, I ha already had patients that said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then they said, oh, and then they were like even complaining. I'm like, I, it doesn't work, whatever. And, it's, and then I was digging deep and was like, did you take the tablets? Uh -huh. Did you do the things? Yes. Did you do the plan I told you? Yes. And the majority, I found out they didn't. They weren't disciplined and they didn't do it. And then I tried to figure out on the mindset level what's going on. Yes. What what is it? What is underneath the iceberg? What's what's blocking them? You know, just to. Oh be my gosh! Yeah, you got your your work cut out for you, <laughs> right? <laughs> we do believe, like a lot of people believe, that putting a band aid on uh, on things will solve the problem. But no, like the symptoms. Yeah, you can, you know, like it's like you said, you want, if you want to get rid of the symptoms, are you really treating the problem? right? Yes. Uh, so, wow, that, that's, that's fantastic. What, in your opinion, is the biggest roadblock uh, for what you do to help people? Yeah, I think it is really getting the people in their um, self-responsibility because they often like they want to give away the responsibility to the doctor and the doctor's fixing me. And that's often the problem. And that's why, and that, that's what I said, they are not committed to themselves. They're not committed to what, that they really want to get healthy mm -hmm. or vital again. Yeah. And, um, and, or, or fitter again, you know, and that's the thing. And that's, that's often where I really have to work into deep first on the mindset, just to see what's going on, what's blocking them, what kind of beliefs they have, what kind of, uh, yeah, something like I'm not good enough or I'm anyway, I will never get rid of my weight or whatever. And, um, and then I have to see, you know, how we can shift that. And we have different techniques also on, because I'm also a teacher healing practitioner. And then I, I do really go on a spiritual level. I go down, I really dig deep and go where, where does that come from? Because often if somebody is overweight, for example, it's like, like something, uh, not enough love, for example. Yeah. Then they didn't receive enough love. And so they're like, you know, feeding themselves to feel themselves, for example. And then you can see what's going on there. And that's why we have to really sometimes dig deep and see what's going on inside of them on the soul level even. And then, then we, we get them sometimes out. But sometimes we also, I even had one patient I really had to quit. I said, I'm sorry, I can't work with you because you are not um, letting go of things. You're not willing to, to really go into deep. And um, I'm, I thought I'm not the right person. And that I'm, I'm honest on that, on that field. And it can happen. It can happen. Sometimes it doesn't work, you know, because maybe there's not the trust or there's not, there's maybe not the chemistry or whatever you want to call it. And then, then, and then sometimes it's also okay to quit and say, maybe you have to find somebody else who, who's better for you in that situation. Yeah. yeah. I just said it once till now, but yeah, sometimes you have to do that. It doesn't work for everybody, right? It's not for everybody. Uh, and um, as you're saying this, I, I, can so relate to this because uh, I've, I've met a lot of people who um, who are in denial of in certain area of their life. But I find that um, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So you, if you find the personal responsibility in uh, treating your body right, yes, you will have the same responsibility in, in finding the right mindset. So people who come to you, Dr. Davis, you treat them on a on, on a spiritual level, on a mindset level, and on a, you know, body level, this mind, body, and soul, like all together. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. That's, that's great. So, um, let's, let's talk about your business. Um, you you have founded this amazing company. And so let's talk a, a little bit about that. And what do you do there? And what are some amazing things that are happening in that company right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Vital Beauty Pyro stands for vitality, <laughs> the inner and outer beauty, and also um, the power you get back. So that's that's that was the idea of how the name was created, first of all. And, and because my a big value of mine is vitality, because health, you don't, you don't often, because what is health? What is the level of health? So I said, if you feel vital, if you feel fit, if you feel energized, then this is a good level. And um, so that's why I chose that word and chose that value. And um, to um, the, the business started around many things. And I have like those different columns. I have the columns, for example, on, on the DNA, DNA blueprint. You know, you can see 
on the DNA level, different things. For example, if we do the nutrigenetic test, you can see how you should element yourself. What food is good for you? What's not so good for you? And what kind of sports type you are? Are you more the athletic one or are you the more the, you know, weight person, you know, the muscles, the building up muscle type? And they are different types of muscles. And then you can see how this person should train. For example, if somebody wants to lose weight, because maybe he was training wrongly and then he didn't never lose, lost weight. So that's, that's the thing. And then um, we you can also see what kind of detoxing type you are. For example, if somebody, some per, people can smoke until they are 95 years old and never develop lung cancer. And some people are passive smokers because of their spouse um, and they develop lung cancer, for example. And that's why what we can see in the test, what's genetically there, and then we can see, okay, what can we change there? What, where, where, where do we have to adapt? How does this person have to maybe detox? And then, then we look on that level and then they get a 200 page printout on that field. And then they can see and have that book at home and see, okay, maybe that, oh, that's good for me. That's not so good for me. And then maybe if I do sport, I can eat that, but not if I, without sport. And then you can see that in that genetic blueprint. And that's, that's amazing. And um, we're working together with an Austrian lab. And um, that's normally the starting point, what we do. And then we look um, with a different test. We look what the intoxication is with, for example, heavy metals, microplastic, and pesticides. And then we go on that field and see how we have to detox that. And then we rebuild, we're detoxing the body, build, rebuilding the cells with uh, the microbiome. Uh, so it's a cell vitality, I call that. And then we look, okay, we have to build the cells up again. And then we have also like the physical vessel therapy. And that's also very amazing because then the blood flow goes up, the oxygen level goes up. And um, it's like a mat where you lay on and when, what you can install in your home. And then... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's like new age advanced stuff yeah. that were amazing. Yes. Wow. And, so, and, and it has to be a combination because I, I realized if you just do one part, the other part is missing uh, because the cells need the oxygen, the cells need the essential vitamins, the cell needs the essential amino acids and so on and so forth. And then they work properly. They are providing the ATP, which is our energy, um, molecule in the body and then you know the this is all working properly and um, you even can regenerate cells with uh, oxygen and all that and then that's why we have to see what we're doing and then also we work on the nutrition base we work with spices more on the ayurvedic level and then you can see what kind of ayurvedic type you are and then we see okay maybe you just need more of that spice and that spice because spices are very healthy for our body and so that, those are different combinations. And, um, and we really look individually what that person needs and then go s through those steps. And then we make a, yeah, a plan for them and then they start. And then we adapt on the way because sometimes, sure, they have maybe side effects because if they detox, uh, it can happen, you know, that they have first maybe like some kind of flushing and then, you know, like they don't feel so well, which can happen. But then I, say, I guide them through this you know, keep going, keep going, it's going to get better. Or sometimes when they start with the vessel therapy, they get headaches. And then we say, okay, then we take just the intensity one and you stay on that. And then we go for three, four, five weeks. And then we, you know, and then that's how we always adapt because we always go in close um, cooperation with the patient because that's very important that they have a good, um, yeah, value on that as well. Yeah. Um, so the DNA um, testing is how does how does it work? Like how how do people do that? Very easy. <laughs> they get the kit sent to their home, and then they take like the the saliva test, put it in those three tubes, send it back to the lab, and they get the result online. <laughs> Holy! Okay, so you're all the way in Germany. If let's say someone across the world, like let's say in Canada, they want to do that. They 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 want to do that can they do that yes they can so they they just can order it they just it. order it through the lab and they, it's going to send going to be sent there and then they have to send it back to the lab sure it will take a little bit longer because of the yeah. you know yeah. uh, um, delivery but um, yes they can they deliver any anywhere in the world yeah to get a I, this is what i'm thinking it's a it's like a blueprint yes. of your of your health yes 
okay, this is what I need to do to lose weight. This is what I need to do to sleep better. This is what I need to do to. Uh, we also have a test, for example, for pregnancy. If somebody can get pregnant, and we can see what's what's going on, what's not working properly on their hormone level, for example, and you see that in the in the DNA test, oh. and then we can adapt. You know that there are different things, and maybe and what's really fascinating also with this lab, they have a skin test. Yeah, they see what kind of skin type you are, and they can even provide an individual skincare from that lab. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's why yeah, we're gonna yeah. live healthy for it till we're 120 <laughs> yeah. do you believe also, yeah 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 i do believe that it's possible yeah even though we have all the intoxications from the outside but it's possible and it's all and then it's also possible it's also important that you do sports and move your body and do yoga or meditation or your miracle morning or whatever kind of routine you love yeah or you love dancing you love jogging you love on riding your bicycle it doesn't matter it's, it's what you prefer and and we are not telling the people you know you you have to stop that maybe we do when they have something or some orthopedic problem or so and we say maybe okay that's not so good for your knee maybe take a different um, sport like swimming which is better for all the um, joints and so but sometimes yeah but in, in general we don't uh, say you don't you can do that but based on the DNA test you can see what kind of sport would be better for you for example if you want to lose weight. But on the other level, if you, you're already skinny and, and, and yeah, shaped, and then you just keep going what you love to do. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Has this already started? Are you implementing it now? Yeah, we, 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 are, we just uh, implement that. We are just setting up uh, the platform. And um, hopefully it's done by in three weeks. And then, yeah, and then we go from there. Woo! Is this, wow. So this is amazing. I can't wait. I, this is amazing. <laughs> So, well, you can already order. That's no problem. That's uh -huh. it's just individually you can already order. Then they just people just have to contact me. We can already get them right away. But with the platform to you know order it online directly, that will take a little while still. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Okay, so if someone's watching this and has questions, obviously they can reach you. Uh, what's yeah. the website they can reach you at? The best is they reach me via email, um, and the email is all underscore in underscore the number four underscore healing at uh, gmx.de gmx okay can you repeat that one more time and i will i will put it on this podcast so yeah. if you can say yeah. that again it's all -L -L. underscore a -L -L. a l l underscore in underscore the number four underscore healing at gmx.de okay that's great that's great yeah. okay um and um did you did you have uh, is is there something that you are offering the people um when they email you yes i i offer them uh, a 15 minute free call just to get to know each other and then um yeah and if they want to, if it goes more into deep and they want to have like a real consultation then i offer that as well and we can really go into deep and then yeah, Ooh, yeah. amazing okay yeah. i have a question can this help uh, mental health yes how can you explain that a little bit yeah mental health is often the topic that we have the problem that we have disbalances in the brain and also, for example, if you look at dementia, dementia is, um, it, there are studies on that, even for ADHS or dementia, that the aluminum level is very high in the brain. And if you can get the aluminum level out of the brain, um, then we reduce it with those detoxing detox products, then it's getting better. Yeah, so they can, can get a be better in that, in that field. And also on the gut level, we, if we get the hormones into ba better balance again, then like serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, all those uh, hormones which are important for the brain function and all that, they get also balanced out again because they are produced in the gut. And so we can, we can better it. Sometimes we can even get them back in, into total vitality um but it, it that needs a little bit more time because it's also about coaching and going into deep for example for depression or anything like that and then we go go deeper but it is possible to get out of that again yeah so 
so you can reverse uh, something like dementia? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we, I don't really want to say completely re reverse, but we can, can stop the progress. Yeah, so, and we can get, get, because of the aluminum level, if you get that out, people are clearing up more again. Yeah. How, does al how do we get aluminum in our brain? Um, normally it is, it can be because of, of alimentation because, and it happens often because people have a leaky gut syndrome. And that means that the gut is not the tight junctions. It's like, like if I may show that those are the tight junctions in the gut and if they are not, you know, properly tightening up anymore. So it's like a wall. And so, and they break, it breaks up, it's getting loose. And through that, it goes into the blood and through the blood, it goes to the brain. And that's the problem. And that's often, and because of the maybe wrong alimentation, uh, processed foods and all that, that is, that causes that, for example, and a lot of sugar, for example, causes that. And uh, because then the bad bacteria are like uh, more activated and they, they're, yeah, they, they're just getting more and more in the gut because of sugar and, and the processed foods. And um, also the, the other toxins we take in. And then that's the problem why it comes to the leaky gut. But it's, it's a process over f many years. And that's why it's so important also to re reverse your, your, um, your alimentation and get a healthy nutrition and organic foods, and which are not sprayed on, which are not um, um, full of those toxins. And that's very important. Also, water is very, very in, in important that you have your water cleaned up because in the tap water, we have a lot of toxins as well. There are th things like fluoride or um, uh, heavy metals and other uh, pesticides and also medication um, uh, particles are in there and or are found there. And that's, that's, what you, that's why it's very important that you have like a machine at home which filters the water, the tap water, for example. So you have your water clean again. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So much. Yeah. So much to learn all about this. Would um, when you were explaining about the leaky gut being caused by um, all these toxins that are um, we, that we put in our body and sugar and all that, would narcotics be one of those um, things that would cause a leaky gut? Yeah, well, narcotics are normally um, eliminated in the body after a few days, if you, for example, are had an operation. But um, um, but if somebody's might be taking something in like that because he's you know maybe yeah then then it can also you know um, also cha change the the body and the, also the, the the gut. What what is also a, something which um, uh, how you say that how, the, the the gut function can be lowered? For example, if you have a lot of morphine, if you're if it's a chronic pain patient and he gets a lot of morphine then your digestion is going to be blocked because of, because of the receptors in the, in, in, in the gut. And that can happen that this is like more when they get constipated, for example, and things like that, that can happen because of medication. But um, there we can help. Um, or, or also if somebody has an, an, uh, got a lot of antibiotics because maybe of an infection or after an operation and he got an infection, and then this is also eliminating the good bacteria in the gut. And that's why we have to rebuild the good bacteria is again, and we have very good products on that. Um, so the good, uh, um, and they're getting back into normal. And then um, that's very important. Normally, if somebody gets high dose antibiotics, for example, through IV, then that they really have good probiotics um, to regenerate the, the good bacteria in the gut. That's very important. Yeah. So when someone does the DNA, um, uh, what, what is that called again? A DNA is what's a DNA blueprint. I call it, blueprint. I call it, yeah, yeah. Um, so you not only can tell them, um, you know, the, what they need to be doing in order to get healthier, but you can also tell them what's right now happening in their body, like what, what, some, what are some of the problems that they need to be um, addressing? Is that part of it as well? Part of the no, um, the DNA test shows uh, in general what, how you should, uh, what kind of food you should take in, which is good for your body. Um, but we have another test where we look how, how high the intoxication is. Okay. And that's what we do. That's the second step. And then we see, okay, you have maybe a high level of aluminum in your body. So we know, okay, we have to get that out. Okay. Or with lead, it's a little bit difficult because lead is, it can be in the bone. 
um, and there you hardly can get it out. And, but it's not a bad thing because in the bone, it doesn't harm you. It just harms you when you get osteoporosis. Then it can get you know, out, of it, out of the bone and then it can, can even intoxicate your blood and everything. But, and, and, but if it's just in the bone, it doesn't matter. And that happened normally because in the old tubes, you had a lot of t t uh, lead in there. And when you're a child and you're drinking tap water, then you know you have like this uh, erosions and the ero and you drink that and that's uh, many of us have that in our body uh, but normally it, it doesn't harm us it just harms us when it's really getting loose in the body yeah um so what age group i i can just i'm asking you this question because i can see my mom like she's 75 and if i tell her about this dna she, she'll be like ah it's too late for me what age <laughs> do you, would you say i know <laughs> <laughs> from zero till till you die i would say okay. <laughs> it's really like this yes you can yeah, take so it, but at any it is point, right and i yeah. i feel like at any point in in your life if you get this done that will be beneficial to you absolutely absolutely you can always change things and even if if you are 75 you can still uh, get fitter and more vital, you know? Maybe you can't recover completely, but, um, but you can prevent you of getting it, that it becomes worse, or you even have to take a wheelchair or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So you can get, you know, 120 maybe, and then, you know, live the last rest of the years, you know, vital and fit and healthy, and, and also from the brain, you know, healthy and not entering into dementia, for example. Yeah. Um, do you believe that our bodies know how to heal themselves? Yes. And that's the, that's a big part of this, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Because it is the holistic approach. And I think we do know that. But the problem is we lost it a little bit because we are too much in our mind. We are too much in stress and, and functioning and like hamsters in the wheel and like running and running and running. Even myself, sometimes I'm in that mood. And then I have to like, okay, stop, <laughs> breathe, balance, yoga. <laughs> get back there because um as a single mom sometimes it's also challenging and then i have to really okay and but you have to get the awareness back and if you have the awareness that that's the first step and with the awareness you just start okay stop i have to breathe again breathe and then <laughs> relax you know and then it's very important also the part of self-care you often forget that and um, I love the book from Cheryl Richardson, um, The Art of Extreme Self-Care. And it's also about, especially for us women, that we say no to something if we don't really want to do it. Because sometimes we really feel it, we feel it in our gut feeling, we don't want to do that. But then we're like, oh yes, we're nice and we want to do that and we like kind. No, just listen to the gut feeling and say kindly no to something. It's very important as well. And um, that's what I think is what we have to learn again. And also what, was very interesting i got to know somebody who's doing intuitive eating and it was really, really fast intuitive eating it's that you really that a little bit. yeah read that you read for example children do that if i if i watch my daughter when she's for example a little bit constipated she doesn't eat bananas which is yeah, because because it makes more constipation she knows exactly she doesn't want to eat that and children have that till a certain age until they're like programmed maybe through us or through society and um, and that's if we listen more again to our body and really get calm and get you know silent, then we really feel what we need. And sometimes we don't need to eat like loads of food. Maybe we just need you know a little salad or a little soup, and that's enough for us. And that's because sometimes we are really overeating, and especially in the Western world, we are overeating. And but we don't eat good food. You know, the majority of the people eat processed foods. They drink a lot of uh, sugared, you know, drinks and stuff like that, which is not healthy for our body. And that's why um, it's very important that they start shifting that as well. And then getting back to the to nature, I would say. And that's exactly what it is. You get back, go back to nature. You eat <clears throat> right from the tree, for example, to, to say like there's some things we can't get here. But um, normally the, that's what we always call it seasonal and regional eating which is very good because you get it from your country. For example, the apples from your country, you know, the, the, the veggies from your country, not the important things because um, normally they are not sun, they're not summer ripe anymore because they pick it when they're green, like the bananas, and then they are going to be flown over. So the vitamins are not there in there anymore. 
And that sometimes that's why we need some supplements, good supplements, because they are produced out of those sun riped uh, um, fruits and veggies, and they have the vitamins in there. And that's so that's why I often say, okay, sometimes you have to take that as well, this, this supplement, because that has it really condensed, completely compact in, in, this, um, in this product, and that's what you need. For example, because we need vitamin D, for example, so many have, have many people have a vitamin D deficiency and that's a big problem. And that's caused a lot of damages as well for the bones and everything in the body and for cell process in the body. And, um, but many people don't know that they have to take vitamin K with it. They just take the vitamin D and often they take the synthetic stuff, which, which is often not good for the body because we always have to take the natural things the vitamin D3 combined with K2, a natural product. Why do we need the K2 with the vitamin D3? Because the K2 is important that it goes into the cells. It, it, it's like a biochemical biochemi process in the body. And um, scientists found out that it's important that you need that essential vitamin as well. So the vitamin D can be processed properly in the body. And that's why we have uh, those very great combined products um, so they um, uh, help really building up the vitamin D level in your body. I got to be honest with you, though, Dr. Davis. Like, all you know, there's a lot of different talks about like taking this vitamin and that vitamin. Don't take this, take that, and it it can become overwhelming for the average um, person. So, um, you know, I, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm listening to you and thinking you have a beautiful mind that's just filled with so much knowledge. But the average person doesn't know, uh, and yes. so it's it makes it very difficult, right? It is, but that's why I I see myself on the mission to bring out to the world more, and that's why I'm also speaking. I was supposed to do a speaking engagement, but now it was canceled. Um, but um, that's that's what I really want to bring out in the world, and I also do webinars on that. I did free webinars now, especially in that time now, and we were like really. Um, uh, giving good content. I had even guests in there who gave content on mindset or on risk management or on vitamins and all that. And uh, we had one great talk about the omega-3 oils because that's also very important. You have to have a combination with the omega-3 oils because many people think, oh, that's the best on the market. And then they see um, they we, we have a very, very good blood test on that and we can see if your omega-6 and omega-3 level is on a, in a good on a good level. And the majority is not on a good level. And uh, I found for me the best product on the market and where really can reduce the level um, because it has to be three to one. And the majority of the people have 15 to one or something like that, which is not good. And, and then also we can see in the test how your cell membrane stability is. And the majority of people have stiff cell membranes. So nothing good can get in. You can eat a lot of supplements, but it doesn't help. Or it helps maybe on a surface level, but not really into the deep. And then the toxins can't get out of the cell. And so that's why we need this, this specific omega-3, uh, because it has a, a great combination, which breaks up the cell membrane again, makes it soft. And so everything can go in and can go out like it is in nature, like it is in the flow again. And that's what we need. We need the flow in our life. And it doesn't matter if it's at work, uh, in, in your private life or in your body. And that's, 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 that's a Chinese uh, medicine, what they say. It's Ayurvedic medicine. It's always those ancient medicines. They always say flow. The meridians, they have, when they're blocked, you, you, just, you just realize it. There's something blocked. Or if your chakras are blocked, you realize it. There's maybe here a block. You can talk properly or you have gut problems or whatever. And that's, that's why it is always about flow but getting back in the good energy again yeah um so you have webinars and you said that free some free webinars with free content that people can can watch and learn from where would we find those i i post them on um facebook and on, on instagram and on facebook you find me under my name shell davis which is a little bit difficult to find me there because there are too many <laughs> in the <laughs> states and everywhere <laughs> Maybe look for Dela and then you find me there. <laughs> yeah, connect with me and then you can find Dr. Dr. Davis too. Um, and, and I mean, under your bio, I mean, they can see that it, it's medical doctor, mindset coach. Okay, so all of that is there. So that's fantastic. I want to ask you, because 
we spend so much money on our health and our beauty and our skincare and weight loss and all these different vitamins, right? Hair products and all that. So, um, you know, and, and we kind of somehow justify that spending money on, on stuff like that. When it comes to something like this, a DNA blueprint, I'm imagining that it should cost a lot of money. Are you are you able to give us a um, a kind of uh, an approximate cost of something like that? For example, the basic one uh, included with uh, thirty minutes consultation on on the result when we have like when the person has the the DNA test you know done. Uh, we we have a the consultation afterwards, so I can explain what it means and whatever. Uh, that in, that completely is around about five hundred euros. Yeah. And that's about, I think, somewhere around like eight, eight to nine hundred dollars. No, it's less, about six hundred dollars, maybe. For the U.S. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, U.S. dollars. Yeah. I think that's a that's really really cheap for finding out what the heck is going on in your body. Don't you? Yeah. Think? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Wow. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to order that DNA test. Um, Dr. Great. <laughs> First customer, no, the token, I'm not first. <laughs> first for today. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna order that, and then I'll, I'll I'll be like I'll be here because that's then that I can talk about it. Then yes. I can talk about it. Yes. this is what's happening in my body. These are the things I have to work on. I think it's fantastic. Who doesn't want that? It's, yes. It's, yes. It's amazing. It's a it's a wonderful um, discovery. I I I can't wait. It's very exciting. Um. Dr. Davis, um, I want to give you a few more minutes because we've been talking for about 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to give you a few more minutes to leave people with what you want. If there's something, words of wisdom, whatever, whatever you want to tell people, what do you want them to take away from this talk? Mm -hmm. I think what is important for you is um, to get in alignment again. Um, and that's the alignment between, between body, mind, and soul. And that's, that's the path I'm helping you on because it, it's also sometimes my own path. Sometimes I'm also not aligned. And sometimes we drop out, which is totally normal because some, things happen in our life. Maybe somebody dies or you have a divorce or whatever. And there, there are things in life which, which make us struggle. And, um, and then, then to find you know, the inner flow and the inner peace again, that's very important. And um, I'm helping on that field and i think it's so important that you realize that you can create whatever you want in your life and it's often because you are the you are you own that and you have the responsibility as well so if you have the mindset on that i have 100 percent responsibility for everything in my life then many things already shift in your life because that's that's the thing because sometimes people say oh it's the, the others to blame and it's always in the outside world but the, the results you have in the outside world has always to do with your inner world your thoughts your feelings and all that and that's what you attract it's like self-fulfilling prophecies and um sometimes sure things happen and we we we're not uh aware we are not um prepared for that but then we adapt on the way and we, and it's very good. It's very important also that you learn resilience. Yeah. And, and those are, and other techniques, um, and you find out what's good for you. That's always important. Find out what's really good for you because I just can give you like guidelines. I can tell you that's going on in your body. That's going on in your mind. And then you find out the way where you want to go and you walk the way where you want to go. Because that's always the thing, and um, we just can be like, like a mentor or like, 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 like a helping hand to get you back on the right path again, and then you walk alone. It's like a baby. You, if you say, for example, the baby starts walking, first it falls, you know, it drops lying, and then maybe it's not working, and maybe okay, I forgot the pill, uh, the, the supplement to take. Okay, doesn't matter. Next day you do it again, you know, and then 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 you go, to, you take it step by step by step until you grow until you can walk alone and that's just about it you learn about the knowledge because we want to help you to walk alone again that you know have enough knowledge on vitality enough knowledge on what you can eat how you should eat how what's good for you 
and then you walk alone again and you can be fit vital and and happy pretty all together (laughs) get your power back yeah get your power back exactly that's that true power right yes um dr davis what's the most important lesson of your life I think it was it was this thing with my exam. It was like this never give up. Always keep going. No matter what happens, you fall down, you get back on your feet and you walk again. And it's it's it is life is like that. You sometimes fall down, sometimes you make mistakes. And I think it's always, you know, keep going. Whatever happens. And sometimes if you need help, then ask for help. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. It's okay. Sometimes you need a helping hand to get it back up. It's okay. And then you walk again. And that's what I do as well for you. I give you a hand and I say, okay, we walk together for a certain time and then you walk alone again because you're back in your power. And I think we all need that. And I think it's very important that we help together. And that's why I lo- also love having cooperation with other doctors, other naturopaths, Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine uh, experts, because we, we, I learn from them and they learn from me. And that's, that's, that's the great thing. And I also learn from my patients. It's also very interesting. It's always like vice versa. It's, it's always um, things what I can learn from them as well. Maybe they're good in, in business and marketing or whatever, and, uh, or other things, what, they, what kind of talents they have. So it's always a give and take. And that's why I say we, we are all one in some way, and we are all love. And we get, if we get back to that, we can, we can you know, heal the world even. If we get back into our inner peace and our inner flow, we can really do something great in this world again. That's amazing. You're you're just you're just the best doctor ever, Doctor Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's what that's what I want. I want my doctor to be like this, you know, to ah, all around healing power. That's what you have. That's your superpower. It's your your healing um, bodies and minds and souls, and it's just. It's, it's so precious. Thank you so much for everything you do, Dr. Davis, for, for impacting the world around you in such a powerful way. Uh, I, I wish you the very best uh, in your endeavors, and I, I will be ordering that DNA <laughs> blueprint for sure. I'm very excited to know um, what's happening in my body. So thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to add, please? Um. I first of all want to thank you very much for this great interview. I want to thank you, Robert. Yes, uh, because he uh, built up that magnetic entrepreneur, and that's what I really love because I love magnetic. I, mag- I love that. Well, <laughs> and you are I magnetic. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I also love other magnets. That's <laughs> <laughs> how it is in life, and and um, yeah, I'm also very thankful that I was part of the first book of the first volume. And I was talking in that book about um, that laughing is the best medicine because it is really important that you laugh a lot a day. And that's, that's keep your smile, keep your happiness. It doesn't matter what happens. And I know sometimes even myself, I'm not always happy and I'm not always like the shining star or whatever. No, we all have our moods. We all have our shitty days. It's okay. Just accept them. It's, it's fine but get back in your, in your positive power and, and enjoy life, enjoy the day and live the moment. And that's what I really learned, especially now from my daughter. She's four and a half and she really lives in the moment. That's what we often as an adult forget because we're like so busy with our stuff. So if you watch your children, your little ones or other, your nieces and nephews, you know, they live in the moment. And that's very important that we live in the moment and enjoy Perfect. the moment. Perfect. Perfect words to finish. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much, Dr. Davis, for giving me your time. I know you're very busy, so I really, really appreciate this. Uh, And I know a lot of people are going to listen to this and they're going to take loads and loads of golden nuggets from this conversation. So um, you're appreciated. And uh, for everyone who's tuned in to watch this podcast, please take what you want and leave the rest. Live your life to the best of your ability, like Dr. Davis said. Get your power back. Live in the present moment. 
So with that, this has been another Magnetic Entrepreneur podcast, and my name is Della. Bye. Take care. Oh. <laughs>